So number one thing you have to do, go to the Moodle page, the Moodle for the course is just active from yesterday. So you will see there is one course called 3311 AME, that's a merge Moodle for both sections, go there, okay? If you go there, the most important document you will see is, uh, for example, the starter guide for installing Eiffel Studio, and also the textbook. I'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow lecture. And lab zero instruction is over there, okay? You can get access to it, okay? So now, I want in the lab zero instruction, we show you a very easy way to generate starter projects. Just by giving a project name, you can go to the website and enter that, for example, counter. That's what's set in the uh, instruction. I want to show you just the, another way to do it, the same idea, okay? So now, this would be uh, similar to your work environment over here. Just open up the terminal, okay? The command you need is called iPhone new. Okay, iPhone new. So type that, it will prompt you for a name, pretty much like when you submit something to the text box, right? So I would suggest keep this workflow very smooth for you. Anytime you want to experiment anything in iPhone, you want to just try it out and show it to me for questions. That's the uh, thing you want to have to quickly generate projects. Okay, I'll just show counter, okay? I can say counter here, and then it's done, okay? And notice one thing, it tells you that you should really go for eStudio 1905. That's what you should type in order to compile that particular Eiffel project, okay? Uh, let me just make sure I'm okay with the directory structure. Let me just do it quickly here. So now let me go to my desktop. Okay, currently my desktop is empty. Let me do it again, okay? So now I would say Eiffel new, and then I'll enter a counter here. You can see there's a folder created here, counter, okay? So now, how do we compile the projects, okay? You can refer to lab zero instruction to see how you can compile from Eiffel Studio, but sometimes it would be very handy if you can compile from the command line, maybe, okay? So now let me show you very quickly how you can do that. The command you need is this. So first of all, you can see on the desktop, I have the counter projects. You can use the command tree to see the directory structure. So also learn about the tree command. At the moment, of, uh, the VN image I suggested to you, they don't support this tree command just yet, but I just mentioned to the tech team, it will be supported very soon, okay? Thanks to James, if he's here. Anyway, okay, so now, let's now go into the counter projects over here, okay? So now, if you look at that, this counter.ecf is in the XM, XML formats. For those of you who took 1022, remember there's also some XML file you have to edit in order to modify your GUI design. Similar formats, but I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't have to touch this file. Okay, don't touch this file, otherwise your project might just stop to compile. Okay, just don't touch it, but at least you know what this file is. So now let's see how we can compile from the command line. The command you need is EC, standing for Eiffel compiler and give the version 19.05. That's the latest version for the whole semester. And then we want to say dash C compile. So IFO, as we will talk about more tomorrow, IFO is a language that cannot be directly executable. It will be compiled into C code first for efficiency reason. Okay, that's why we say C compile. Okay, and then after, after that, we'll say, I would say freeze for now. You actually have two options over here. You can either say dash freeze, or you can say dash finalize, either way. Okay, you can either say dash freeze, or you can say finalize, either option. Okay, let me just go with freeze. You will see lab zero instruction. When you say, when you say freeze, it's going to have a W code directory. When you have, uh, when you have finalize, it's gonna have a uh, uh, F code directory, okay? Okay, finally, you're gonna say config, now I'm going to give the file, counter.ecf, okay? Don't memorize this, okay? I didn't memorize it, I just did it so many times. Hopefully I'm right, okay? Okay, if you do that, it's going to compile. This is something very similar when you submit your labs later. You will see exactly this kind of uh, output because we try to run your submission automatically through the command line. So I just want to show you. Okay, I'll do, do, do this only once. If you really have the preference to do everything from Eiffel Studio, that's absolutely fine, okay? But it's good to know some details. Okay, after the compilation, it shows you compilation completed. Okay, 
one ah one of the main complaints we got from students about eiffel studio is about the error messages being not so readable so maybe there's something i will try to show you gradually in later lab session to show you how to interpret error messages but we'll get there today is only the first session okay so after this okay i want you to look at the directory structure again you can see this ifgens folder okay now remember one thing very important any time that you try to compile your Eiffel projects or recompile Eiffel project, it may just give you very weird error messages. The number one possible reason is because every IFGNs takes about more than 500 megabytes. Okay, so you can easily use up your quota. Okay, so every, uh, any time you cannot compile your Eiffel project anymore, simply try to remove the IFGN folder. That's num that's uh, the number one resolution. Of course, there could be other reasons. Okay, so now in, under IFGENS, I want to show you this. So under IFGENS, oh, you know, let's say do tree. Okay, so you can see a lot of C code over here. Okay, but what I will do is, uh, let's say this, LS IFGENS, counter simply because we're going to counter objects. But now if I say list IFGENS, IFGENS and counter, and now I got different folders. Pay, pay attention to two folders only. One is called W code, and the other one is called F code. W code is when you chose the uh, dash freeze option, and F code is when you chose the uh, dash finalize option. Okay, so now because we use uh, freeze, so now if you go into IFGENS, counter, and W code. So now what do we have? So you actually have an executable code counter. You can check the permission yourself, but it would be as easy as if I simply run counter because that's executable. As soon as I do that, it's going to give me two things as explained in the uh, lab zero instructions. One thing is it show you some kind of uh, textual uh, test report, okay? And the number two things you have to pay attention to, it's an HTML page. Okay, let me just show you. Um, oh, uh, I can make it bigger. Okay, anyway, so I'll figure out how to make it bigger later. So this is an HTML table. At the moment, you can see there's a red bar on the top. That means very bad. Not all the tests were passing. Okay, so you have to follow lab zero to actually see how you can make it passing. Have, have a green bar. Okay, so these are the two uh, outputs from the command line. Any questions so far? Clear? Okay, that's kind of the more technical details about Eiffel Studio. I want to show you one more thing, okay, before I uh, end the demo. Okay, uh, a few more things. Okay, so now let me go back to my uh, folder. So now I go to my desktop and counter. So every time, if you want to remove the IFGENS, of course, you can just go to a file browser and then remove the IFGEN folder, but there's a command supported by the Prison Lab account. It's called eClean. Okay, I'll show you. So eClean, standing for Eiffel Clean, and then you say the current directory. So imagine that later on, if anything goes wrong in the middle of the semester, you just couldn't compile your Eiffel project anymore. Simply go to your EECS 3311 workspace and say eClean dot. It's going to remove all the IFGENs. It will magically clear up your, your quota, okay? If I say eclean dot, it's going to remove all the IFGENs, right? It's easy to execute. This is only available in the prison lab accounts and also the virtual machine. So we don't have that for Mac or Windows, unfortunately. Okay, just do it through your account. Okay, so now, so now everything is gone. Okay, make sure every time when you submit your projects or labs, eclean first. Okay, eclean. So now let me just do one more demo I would like to do. I want to show you how you can set up your Eiffel Studio properly. Uh, okay. eStudio, in this case, I don't have to say eStudio 1905 because it's already linked to the latest version. Okay, so now I want to add a project over here. Okay, and then I'll simply go to my desktop and then counter, I will choose the uh, ECF file. Always, if you want to compile the project, compile the ECF. I'll choose that in, and then I'm going to say open. This is uh, detail in your lab zero instructions. Uh, 
Okay, so I want to show you two things only, and then we are done. Number one, so you can see that over here, uh, I already set it up properly. I want you to look at the right-hand side of your Eiffel Studio. You can see there is a panel called Groups. Groups is similar to Package Explorer in Eclipse. And also, you see Features. Feature is similar to the outline view in Eclipse, which means you want to see the outline of a particular class. And when you want to go to Groups, it's for the whole project. So these two panels are very useful for you to explore your project. However, they are not there by default. It's, they are not set up that way. I want to show you quickly so you can practice. Number one, let me go back to the default. Every time if you Eiffel Studio simply got messed up, you want to reset the layout. This is what you can do. Simply go to View and go to uh, Tools Layout and then reset the tool layout. Okay, it's easy. Okay, so under View, uh, Tools and then Tools Layout, reset it. Okay, this is default. Most of you may have this. So now let's see how we can set it to the way I show you. Okay. So now you can see that it's actually uh, belong to different tabs of the same panel. You can see we have groups. We also have features. Somehow we want to split the, these two to the top and the bottom, right? So now this is how you can do it. You have to practice that a little bit, okay? So groups should remain over here. Go to the features tab and click on that. Hold it. And then you want to drag it so that it appear to be, you can see there's a middle vertical line, right? Uh, horizontal line. And that's how you do it. So now you can see at the bottom we got we got features. At the top we got auto test. You don't need it. Close it. Also we got favorites. You also don't need it. Close it. Okay. So you got the two. Okay. It's a my personal tip. I think it's very nice for you to set it up that way. Okay. One more thing. Remember I mentioned that everything that goes wrong you should really eat clean and remove the IF gents. Remember. Do not ever try to do e-clean when your iPhone studio is open. You will crash brutally. Let's illustrate how you crash. So you really got an impression. Okay. So now let me go back to my command line. So now I'm in the projects, and then if I simply say e-clean, right? But iPhone studio is still open. Remove it, but now you go back to Eiffel Studio, you may want to compile your projects, right? You may think. Even though it's uh, even, though, even though you say succeeded, but it's not really exactly succeeded. It will actually crash eventually. Yeah, I cannot really re reproduce it over here, but I'm trying to say every time you want to do e clean to remove the IF gents, always close Eiffel Studio. Okay? That's one thing I want to say. So close the IF, uh, close Eiffel Studio and then do the e clean. Because later on, you're going to have two lab tests for the semester. You want to make sure you don't do the wrong thing during the lab test. Okay? Any questions? Okay, final point of reference, final point. So um, uh, most of you took some course with me previously, so you might know the page. So I want to show you, just go to my page over here, okay? And then go to lectures, go to 3311. So now for labs number zero, I would say we're going to release lab number one. Uh, early Monday, the latest, maybe late Sunday. Okay, then you're gonna about maybe one week or slightly more than one week to do it. Okay, so now before next Monday, your top priority is number one to finish uh, lab number zero, and number two, go to this particular tutorial here. It's called Use of Eiffel Studio for the Cyber Contract and Test Driven Developments. Go there. Okay. Finish these eight videos. I know some of you already started. That's good. If you haven't, it's not too late yet. Start it. Okay. Especially pay attention to how you can do how you can do debugging in Eiffel Studio. It's actually a very important technique. But of course, if you run into trouble, let me know. Any questions? Okay, done. I'll leave you alone.